Sometimes you want to make a lemon bounce up and down to the sound of your voice. I can show you how to do that. Okay, the first thing I need to do is move the lemon video into the media bin. And now I need to hook up my microphone. So in the workspace inspector, I'll choose plugins and the plus sign and audio analysis here. This little panel will appear somewhere. I'll move it here and make it bigger. And then under audio analysis inspector right here, I will choose my microphone. And with my mic selected, you can see that there's some audio happening here and that's good. So I'll go back to my layers tab and now I'll click on the lemon, and that puts the lemon in the output window. Now I need to make the lemon as tall as the output window. So I'll do that down here where it says layer composition, layer one composition. I'll make the height, top and bottom of the lemon. And this just defines the area that the animation is going to happen in. And now that that's defined, I'm going to make BDMX squish the lemon back to normal size. So I'll go to layer one effects choose geometry adjustment and then I'll choose XY zoom from the drop down here. Now I'll adjust the level Y slider to make the lemon kind of a normal size again. And then I'll adjust the center position. I'll move the Y slider so that the lemon is sitting on the bottom of the output window. So the next thing is to tell VDMX to make the lemon stretch and squish. I'll move the black dot at the end of the level Y slider closer to the white bar here. And then I'll move the black dot on the other end of the slider to where the white bar is currently situated. And this defines the area that the lemon will stretch. Now that that's looking good, to hook this to the audio, I'll right click the slider, choose Use Data Source and Audio Analysis. And I'm going to pick one of these filters. I think Filter 2 will work. So filter two is selected and now you can see the lemon is bouncing up and down to my voice. Okay, it's a little jerky. You can see it's like very sensitive. To smooth that out, I'll use the UI inspector here and I'll click on edit num fx chain. Okay, if I click this and use add asset, I can add um, smoothing. So I can choose smooth here. And now when I speak, it's a little bit less jerky. It's a little smoother. And I can also add fall. And then this gives it some time to deflate. And this looks pretty good. The next thing I can do is maybe make the lemon squeeze in as it's going up. To do that, I'll just use the level X slider in the XY zoom. And I'll do the same thing. I'll move these little black dots in to kind of limit like how much it's going to squeeze in. And then I'll right click and choose audio analysis filter two again. And now, as I talk, you can see that the lemon goes taller, but it also goes wider. But I actually want it to squeeze in instead of expanding outward. I'll look at the UI inspector again. I'll click on the level X uh, slider, and I'll just click the invert value box here. And now you can see that when I speak, the, the bar goes the other direction, and the lemon squeezes in. So I could adjust this and finesse this if I wanted to by moving these dots around. All right, if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments. Uh, my Patreon supporters can download the Rotating Lemon and use it to follow along with. I hope you found it helpful. Maybe I'll do some more of these.